Launched by the Mattel Toy Company in 1959, the Barbie doll has been the biggest selling doll in toy history. Neil Taylor is a huge Barbie fan and has the biggest Barbie collection in Australia. The thing I love about Barbie, first time I saw Barbie that I remember was my cousin's Barbies when I was two years old. Pretty much couldn't get me to put them down but when I got my hands on them. I actually ended up having a bit of a tantrum until I got one when I was about three and a half, four, which is this doll here who I still have to this day. My dad wasn't too impressed, I must say, he was a truck driver farmer, but Barbie stayed and was joined by others, obviously, along the years. And I had Barbies as a kid probably until I was about seven-ish. Around that time, Dad went, no more Barbies, that's it. So I went to Ken. <laughs> and after Ken, G.I. Joe and Big Jim and all the other action figures, I guess, I'd still buy the odd Barbie and sneak into the bottom of the wardrobe. The minute I left school, basically, I started buying stuff at op shops and they were old Barbies. I just threw them in a suitcase, to be perfectly honest, because I thought they were kind of cool. And I can remember going to Subi Markets probably 35 years, 30 years ago. I don't know, it's a long time, put it that way. I'm not giving it away. Uh, basically, went to Subi Markets and I spotted a 1965 Ben Leg doll in the box. And the illustrations and the artwork on the packaging this sucked me straight in. I was like, oh my God, I've got to have it. And that was 20 bucks, which at the time was stupid money for an old Barbie when seriously paid it. And um, I've got to admit that doll, which was quite rare and worth a fortune, not that I knew at the time, sat next to my oven on top of the cupboard in the kitchen for about four years, probably getting greasy and gross. Still have it though. <laughs> probably a year or so later, or that Christmas, I think one of my friends bought me a book as a joke. I think it was the life and times of Barbie or something like that. And I kind of got that for Christmas. Went through my suitcase and went, oh, hang on a minute, I've got a ton of this stuff that's quite rare. And I loved fashion. I was always involved in fashion anyway. When I got the book, I started putting things together, realised I had the making of quite a decent collection. So any Barbie stuff I could get my hands on. And it did get kind of out of hand for a while there. Actually, that's an understatement, it got crazy. I was, every penny was going on Barbie. The thing I love, I guess, is the fashion was really beautifully made. It was miniature of couture fashion, basically. The designer was Charlotte Johnson with Mattel from 1958 before Barbie was released. She did the outfits right up until 1972, roughly. Basically, she would go to the Paris shows, pretty much copy couture fashion, and it was made in miniature. Fully lined, hand-stitched hems, zippers sewn in by hand, buttons that work properly. Beautiful miniature fashion, basically. I guess that was the big thing that got me. And the accessories, all about the accessories. <laughs> it can become obsessive. I will say I was addicted at one point. Every penny I had would go on Barbie stuff. It's all I thought about. I had to have it, regardless of whether my bills were paid. You know, much to the detriment of my finances, I must say it was bad. That's a long time ago. I, outgrew that phase a very long time ago, I've got to say. As far as being an addiction, hell yes, of course it is. I can't ever imagine not having at least a couple of these dolls around me. There's always something to learn because there's foreign market items that you never see or variations of something or something that you're always hunting for that's rare, the holy grail. It's pretty addictive, I've got to say, and there's so much of the damn stuff. Not only Barbie, you've got Ken, Midge, Barbie's girlfriend, Alan, Ken's friend, Skipper and Scooter, which is Barbie's sister, younger sister and her friend. Ricky, who's another friend, Tootie and Todd, who I'm not into. Barbie's tiny twin brother and sister that remind me of Chucky from Child's Play. And even some of the scary, big, puffy 80s stuff, shoulder pad. And that stuff, it's because it's so scary, it's kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know, I think it is an obsession still but not an unhealthy one. I've, I've got it under control.